Hello, I'm Larry. And this is Carter's Country. We've got Justin Carter with me here today, and we're going to talk about the Canik TP9SA. You know, the TP9, it's gotten pretty prominent, got a lot of, yeah. you know, they, they, they make it up to match grade levels with all sorts of bells and whistles. This is more of a base model for someone just getting into it. Kind of take us through everything that, that Canik's uh, put in this package, and I think we've even thrown a little bit yeah. more on top of that. So. Yeah, Canik is always pretty well known for all of what I call freebie things, but uh, you love that, don't you? I do like. You just <laughs> we don't get we we give away a few free things every. You're a while. swag junkie. Yeah, exactly. So first and foremost, if uh, while supplies last, we're going to be giving away three extra magazines with a gun. Wow. When you buy it, uh, that's so a that's, pretty big value. <laughs> well, yeah, it's. Let's say, I mean, at 40 bucks a piece, that's 120 bucks right. worth of value. Yeah. Basic numbers. So that's always nice. It comes with two. So it's five magazines in the package deal, which is pretty dang amazing. So you basically can have 90 rounds loaded in magazines and ready to go when you walk out the door with it. I mean, Before that's, you even get there. That's yeah. pretty, that's probably more than sufficient, I would think, but you know. I, yeah, I, <laughs> it is. Uh, obviously it's on sale in the stores, so that's a, a big deal as well. It comes with your uh, holster. Uh, as, as always, uh, inside the waistband or outside the waistband, reversible if you want. One thing on that, just real quick, it, you know, working behind the counter a few years back at, at yeah. Carter's, you would see people buy a gun for the first time. And then when you told them or asked them, how about a holster? They said, no, I'll get that later. A lot of people look past the, the value and the importance of a holster. Um, and then they yeah. get out there and start looking and, you know, you, you can spend you know, 25 on up to 150 bucks on a holster. Yeah. So people, I think, sometimes kind of take that for granted. And to have a holster that can be worn inside or outside the waistband and custom fit for the gun already to be a part of the package, it saves you a lot of additional headaches trying to find the right holster. And it's already included and it doesn't, you know, adversely affect the price point. Uh, the holster is a pretty big deal. And, and if you've carried for any length of time or, or been a long time gun owner, you know that. But for our first time gun owners that may not appreciate that, uh, the value of a holster specific for this gun is a pretty pretty big thing. Well, I mean, even if you don't use a holster, at least you get a chance to put, like carry temporarily a holster with you and you can see if you like it. Or you can, you can it's a place to start. Right. That's what I always encourage people when they come to the store is, don't spend for on your first holster 125 bucks if you just don't even know where you're gonna wear it. Are you gonna wear it inside? Are you gonna put it in your pocket? Are you gonna outside? Or, yeah. Do you need a left hand, right? Like there's so many aspects of it and it's tough on the store level because we get the question all the time. Well, what holster? And it's like, well, it's not just what holster. It's what are you gonna do with it? Where are you wearing it? How are you operating with it? Right. So this cuts out that first few months of iteration to understand what you're actually, how you're gonna wear it. It's a so great that's, point, yeah. It's exciting to see that as always. Uh, as always, they've got a their cleaning kit. Uh, this one doesn't come with my favorite little gun. Guy right here. It's a, uh, it's a screw set that you that has all of its parts and pieces inside the magazine. Well, wow. your and little tool. gun wrench. I don't holder, know if yeah. we have one, but I, th I think that's on the on the a little bit higher end version of this gun. So got sorry it. about that. And one extra back strap. So. Uh, no lack of free stuff uh, with a gun, which is which is always great to see. And it comes in black and FDE. One thing that stands out, and I don't, I hope we can get this on the camera. If not, maybe we can get a close-up shot later. But um, see, you know, it, it's empty here. Um, something that's really unique for a striker fire pistol. Most striker fire pistols out there, once it's loaded and you've racked a slide, that gun's ready. It's hot. Yeah you know, with or without a safety, you, rounds in the chamber, you're ready to go. Uh, this has something that's really unique in a striker fired pistol and that it's got a decocker here. Yep. So if you, if you had it loaded up, you're, you're doing some shooting or whatever, then you realize you're gonna stop. Maybe you get a phone call, something happens, you need to just go ahead and set the gun down. Uh, right here, and it, and it fits in really seamlessly into the slide, is a decocker. Now, Remember the old Ruger, like P92, some of those had the decocker, I think some other Berettas, yeah. you know, on the hammer fired. This is a decocker on a striker fired, and if you just push this down, there you hear you that click, now it, now you, the round's still in the chamber, but it's not hot anymore. And I think that's a really cool innovation, and I think it's neat that even on, on what 
would be considered the base model of this, that that's something that's included in it. Well, we've talked about this before. Usually you don't see a lot of innovation with your more affordable right. micro pistols or your pistols in general in that affordable range. So to see innovation in it is, is neat. It's really nice, yeah. And you've got, you've got your loaded chamber indicators. Uh, you've got Warren tactical sights on it. Uh, these are great sights, but also, uh, you know, you changing them out isn't, isn't yeah. a, you know, isn't a major operation to do. If, if you want to get some different sights, you can certainly do that. And uh, it's got a good fit for an 18 round. It's not real fat. Nope. And, and, it, and it fits the hand. I've got, you know, a medium sized hand. It fits really well. Yeah. Uh, so for an 18 round double stack, they did a good job of, of, of keeping that uh, reasonable, what reasonable the to the point that really you could carry inside the waistband and, and not worry about printing and, and all that. Not at all. What, what do you think about the trigger? Trigger and, and Canik is, is kind of known for this. It's, uh, I don't know if, if we'll be able to see that or not, but it's really smooth. It is. You know, and it's got a nice short reset on it. Uh, again, you know, something that you may not expect in a pistol in this price range, uh, they deliver. Yeah. You know, it, it's just really solid. You got your accessory rail here. Um, nice serrated here for, for working the slide. Uh, just everything about it, it it's solid. It's a solid pistol, well thought out, well developed, well designed, especially for the money you're spending. Exactly. Sitting here at a table and talking about these pistols and all the great things they have, nothing replaces the experience of actually getting to shoot it. So really looking forward to taking this one out, put some rounds through it. I, I got great expectations for it. I think you and I have shot some of the other Canics and, yeah. and it's been great and I don't expect any less out of this one. Me neither. That's nice. Put a few rounds through that. Uh, what were your impressions of it? What were your thoughts? I think it shot extremely well. I actually thoroughly enjoyed shooting it. Uh, it you get the same, uh, for lack of better words, bang for your buck as you get with their, you know, their upper end guns. Yeah. And. It, I mean, it, I felt like it shot really, really well. Yeah, I, I, if I had to use one word, I would say smooth. Yeah. And that, that's for the trigger, for the muzzle flip, uh, everything. It's just a smooth, well-designed, well-balanced machine uh, to me. I, it truly is. It, it just, you know, as, as you're shooting, it's just, it just had a good feel and rhythm to it. Uh, there wasn't any, oh, I got to adjust for this or this. What I was expecting before I shot the first round is exactly what it delivered, I guess is the, the way to say it. Uh, it met every expectation I had for it. And based on our previous shooting with some of the higher end canics, I had pretty high expectations and it met them. I mean, it, it really is a, a great gun and, and, a, and a great value. And uh, again, you know, it comes with two 18 round magazines. For the while supplies last, we're throwing in three more 18 round magazines. We've got an inside or outside the waistband holster, custom fit for that gun, speed loader that comes with it. I mean, and there's it's, a lot it's of just value. A, a lot of value. Value is the perfect word for it. It really is. It, it there's a lot of value to it, and and it's the type of gun that you could just shoot all day and stay comfortable with. It's not going to wear you out. It it does all the work. I mean, the trigger performs just as well as I thought it was going to. Yeah, extremely smooth trigger. Uh, it just uh, it's just a really well built well balanced well designed firearm true well we hope you enjoyed our look at the canic tp9 uh, sa like all our videos we ask that you subscribe to our channel click the like button if you liked it feel free to comment down in the comments section we have new videos coming out every friday let us know of things you would like to see we'll try to cover them if we can um, your feedback is important to us and it helps us try to continue to make these things more informative and more enjoyable for you to watch. Remember, if you've ever shopped, shot, or hunted with us, you're already a part of the Carter's Country family. Until next time, adios. The whole time I'm getting ready to move my finger, my one eye is looking <laughs> over here to see when his is going <laughs> to... It all work itself out. But, uh, you know, They can only we... fire me once. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I good. want to do my finger guns. Yeah, uh, I got an itchy finger gun today, <laughs> which may be something you need to see a doctor about. <laughs>
problem sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs>